get to look at it um, underneath to make sure that they're actually not hitting a firewall or anything. Swapped. Everything is swapped already. Yep, changing the, both O2 sensors. That's what we're doing. We're done. We changed both of them. I'm actually gonna. Oh, hold on a second, guys. I gotta blow my nose. Wow, what the hell? Ooh. Swapping O2 sensor because of that code. Um, the O2 sensors, right? The O2 sensors is giving me that E8 code. Well, the O2 sensor on the left side, I cannot move it aft. <laughs> He's in timeout. No chap rags. What's up, cake? The O2 sensor that's on the left side didn't have an actual, uh, another place so I can put it. So I'm just swapping it to see if the problem is the O2 sensor. Example, getting here to show you what's, what's going on. So this O2 sensor here, right? There's the other one on the other side down there. Well, this one doesn't have a test pipe down here that I can actually put it in. And the other one does. So if, it's, if it is the O2 sensor, then I'm going to, I wonder if the transmission plug is actually loose. It's weird, it's wet down here. Uh, so, just uh, doing that so we can see what's going on. Can I bypass it? No, I can't, I can't bypass it. Remember, all my ECU info comes from the O2 sensor for everything else, so not really. It's not, it's not the choice. Uh, my turbos aren't going to work right if I bypass it. All right, so let's put this tri 